Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, this is a video on a baby that I never showed you guys that I had up for adoption. She's looking quite shiny on camera for some reason, but she's not. She is sealed with a, um, she's sealed with satin varnish, also with a mix of matte varnish, but for some reason on her, on camera, she looks a little bit more dewy. She's not as dewy in person, but for some reason on camera, it's glistening like she is more dewy. Like right here, she's pretty matte. But like if you hit the light a certain way, it looks like, oh, she's shiny. <laughs> she's not because she is brand new. Um, and I don't play with this doll because this doll is for, for adoption. So this is Sweetheart Josephine. Um... She is a sold out limited a baby limited edition baby. I never posted her video for her details. She is a very um cute. Like I don't know. She's been on the market for a bit. This is her. She's not as pink or as blushed as my um as my other dolls would be. As you can see, she's not as blushed. I didn't want to make her as blushed. I wanted to make her more on the uh lighter pinky um caucasian skin tone like more light than i normally would go and that is her she is very cute she's got beautiful uh rooted hair full like really full rooted hair it's not even just um uh, normally i don't root as much hair on my babies i normally make it more like finer rooted hair but this baby i wanted to give her a full head of hair but um I don't know. So she hasn't sold. She is still available. I still have her and I still have my other baby, Alyssa. Um, she's about, she's about five pounds. I think she's 18 to 19 inches long. Her paperwork is over there. And, um, she is on the higher price, uh, range because she is a sold out limited edition baby. So, um, she's going to be a little bit higher because she's hard to come across and her kits are, are, you know, sold out. They're gone. Um, so she's been gone for a while. So she has beautiful light brown, um, slumberland kid mohair. It's very soft. And then she's got this, like, she's just so gorgeous. So realistic. She's got beautiful veining on her eyelids, which is capillaries. She's got beautiful rooted lashes she got an open mouth, which fits a modified pacifier, which I have for her. She got Melia, Cap Capillaries already said that. She's glossed in a lot of places. Um, yeah, she's just gorgeous. I know right now it's kind of hard to sell babies. The market has slowed down a lot. So it's been a bit, a bit difficult around here because most of my babies has just been sitting that I've been completing. So I'm hoping that she will eventually find a home. Um, yeah, this it's very strange because my dolls will normally sell um, within a couple days, sometimes even minutes, sometimes even seconds. So I was really shocked that she didn't sell right away because she's a very sought up, sought after kit. But yeah, guys, so this little girl is available for adoption. She can be a boy if you like as well. I mean, could be anything. I could send any baby that I make, boy or girl. But she is just so cute. Don't you just love her, guys? I do. I love her. And she's just sitting in my nursery wanting a mommy. So, but yeah, she's just beautiful. Very beautiful baby. And like I said, she's got more of that dewier skin tone. So she's not completely, she's not like completely matte. She's dewy. She's not shiny. She's dewy. Um, shine normally happens when you don't varnish your dolls. Um, or you have played with your dolls too many times. You keep like uh, taking off their clothes. I don't do that to my dolls. And I don't do that to the dolls that I just made for sale. I like to keep them in the clothes that they're wearing and not keep you know removing clothes on and off so but yeah I just wanted to explain that because some people will think maybe the doll is shiny but it's not because I always varnish my dolls and she's just got beautiful like 
She's got a lot of uh, mottling, a lot of lo those little like imperfections that babies have. Um, she's just gorgeous. So yeah, guys, if you are interested in her, um, PM me. Even though she is a higher priced doll, she's not as high as most people would sell her at. Like I sell my dolls, some dolls I sell a lot higher than other dolls that I, that I make, even though I should be technically making all of them a certain price. But I know times are tough, so I've been decreasing the prices on my dolls drastically and still no sale, which is a bummer because I need my dolls to find homes so I have more room um, to be able to paint. I will be making a separate video on um, this subject. But yeah, I need my babies to go to homes. I know right now it's a tough time. So I try and keep my dolls at a very decent price. Um, but I also need to make a living. I also have got my own bills to pay. So I can't be giving out dolls for free. So it's been kind of hard around here lately. Um, I mean, it's, even, it's especially worse when it's your only income that you're doing. I mean, that's your only income that's bringing in. If that's the case, and it's like, you know, you have to put your prices up in a, in an appropriate price that you're able to pay all your bills and buy groceries and everything like that. But yeah, guys, I'm not going to keep going. I'm just going to stop it here so I don't keep blabbing around. Anyways, guys, take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.